I'm gonna start with something funny for today. Uh, when men stop simming for women, number 61 by Arako TV. I really like his uh, compilations. I don't know where he finds these compilations, if he makes them on his own from TikTok, or it's, there's like a compilation like on Reddit or something, but uh, I should really get into Reddit and like uh, see if there's uh, like compilations like this because they can get really funny. So this is uh, Arako TV, really uh, has some really good uh, compilations. And yeah, we're going to react to him, reacting to these guys. And uh, yeah, it's worth it sometimes. Let's we'll see. Have to, we'll have to. They're cute, but they're $15. <laughs> I don't think you want any more, right? <laughs> oh, you like that one? She had that one too, though. Dude. Me and my ex had a dog. Have one. No, stop. I wasn't gonna say she had one. I was gonna say she had three, but okay. <laughs> Mine's is a fucking. Like the thing is, it is pretty funny. He's teasing her with it, but like, I don't know why she cares so much. Genius, bro. She's never gonna want anything to remind you of your ex. Oh, it says this. This girl is probably like the super jealous type or some shit, or she knew who his ex was or something. I don't know, but it's weird. <laughs> When you see me, what's the first thing that you notice? Know? That you're trying to get too much attention and that you're probably annoying people. I don't think you're English. Hey, <laughs> man, brother. Smart man. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, I saw this one before. <laughs> Guy is fucking brilliant. Look at this. <laughs> Let's be real, man. He's not sleeping that. Also, this is 100%. Um, what do you call it? Uh, staged. Like, there's no way he's like filming it at the at that exact moment, you know. So why is her boob half out? He's a royal man. He had his eyes closed the mm -hmm. whole time. I heard he once saved a baby out of a burning building. Hell yeah! <laughs> what a hero! Oh, look at my mom. Uh. Bop. <laughs> And that's how we run right pictures. There. None of this Hollywood bullshit. Walking down the beach, taking perfect pictures. The sun's blowing the hair. Now, fuck uh, okay. <laughs> Read for who to text in females. Bro. Don't. Don't text females. <laughs> nah, whatever. Rule number one. You don't send paragraphs right now. I mean, it's a text. Last. I'll tell you that shit for free. Yeah. Rule number two. Slow down with the emotion. <laughs> I love three. his accent, bro. It's a slow down with the emojis. Stop with the validation. If you fucking with a girl that knows she's pretty, you ain't gonna tell her that twice. You're almost been telling her on the baby. Don't you ever fucking be desperate for anybody's attention in this motherfucking world. I mean, he's right. Don't you dare get into another motherfucking relationship. You haven't fucking healed yet. See, this one, like, I'm assuming it's like lacks context because. It's like, would you get into another relationship right after you broke up with somebody and like you're still devastated from it? No, that's not a good idea, obviously, but so it's like the context, I guess, is like the only people who would need to hear this are people who are st like still recovering from their breakup, you know? Now he's got a funny way of saying things, but I agree with everything he's saying. Being needy or desperate is unattractive. It stinks. No one likes it. And sure. getting into a new relationship when you're not completely healed from the last one is not only f***ing yourself over, but also f***ing yeah. the other person over. Have sex with any guy they want to. Yeah. Guy. Oh, I love this. I saw this, uh... That's actually... It's pretty accurate. It is pretty accurate. Now, I wouldn't say it's, like, super accurate, but, like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh. Guys have sex with who they can. This is true. Guys will have sex. I'd say majority guys have no standards. They would fuck anything that fucking moves because it's like they're idiots. The girls would fuck whoever they want because they have the choice, right? However, but in the long run, men yeah. are gonna marry who they want. Yeah. Women are the ones with a expiration date, quote unquote. I don't like using that term, but it is what it is. It's like, yeah, a lot of women when they reach like their thirties, they're what is attracted 
attracting about them is going away, which is their looks, you know? It's like you, you start seeing, it's like, yeah, you want to settle down. Usually, I'm not saying all women's, like, yeah, you want to pursue being, like, a, your business, whatever. Like, that's fine. I'm not against it. Do whatever you want. But a lot of women usually tend to, like, want to settle down around their 30s uh, these days. And they would have to get whatever they can. Men, however, they can marry in their 40s, in their 50s. Like, they are not in a rush to get married. It's like, they can have kids, whatever. Right? It's like, <laughs> pretty much. So, Two. it is pretty funny. Women are going to marry who they can. Yeah, yeah. listen! That's called motherfucking bars! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, fake, fake, boom. Get your ass up. <laughs> you were trying to take over. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Get your ass up. <laughs> For society, if you were trying to take over the world, what would you do? What would you do if. Oh, what was the question? If you were trying to. If you were trying to take over a society, take over you society. Take over the world. Okay. What would you do? Well, according to history, all great <laughs> empires and societies never fall from the outside, but they fall apart on the inside because of weak men. So if I wanted to take over society, I'd create some sort of idea that promoted women to be more like men. Stop making babies, go to college, go do work, and put family second. That part I don't really necessarily agree with, the whole, like, make women more like men. Uh, I think that's not really it. But what he says after where he's leading with this is probably I'm going to agree with. And put your mission and purpose first. And then I would tell young men that being yep. men is toxic. There and we it's go. Not okay. There we go. That's, yep, there we go. And then I would have Hollywood make movies that showed men as weak needy, insecure, beta male simps. I have never seen a movie like that. What do you mean a movie where the male are beta male simps and insecure? What's that uh, recent movie with... Uh, what's his name? Tatum and uh, Sandra Bullock. Where he's like chasing after her and she's like the one who's like has the plans and all that stuff and like she's always in control kinda and he's like the insecure guy on all that shit it was he was like complete feminine in there but he kinda was feminine you know even like they even made a joke out of Brad Pitt you know like made him a bit more feminine which is like again he was a um, macho man in the sense that's like um you know like he was a uh, like a pro with the weapons and like all that stuff, but overall they made him like into an idiot, right? It's like. And they have the women in those movies <sighs> be strong, masculine figures that could do everything a man could do. And yeah. all I have to do is feed that narrative into the school systems, social media, mm. and Hollywood. Mm. And all I do is promote it as progression. And since traditional mm. things work, I tell people that was bad as well. But good Might thing as well. Never happened, Might right? as well. What he just said reminds me of a meme that I posted seven months ago. It says the year is 25. Isn't 30 the Cash Me Outside girl is uh, is president? There are 67,298 genders. It's illegal to have an opinion. I'm the last straight male. This is my story. <laughs> oh, big true. It's illegal to have an opinion. I'm the last straight male. We're this getting there. Story. Now, it sounds like a bit of an exaggeration, but the way we're going, I wouldn't be surprised if it does happen. Maybe not the Cash Me Outside girl, but someone similar. We can't let society, social media, movies, or whatever make us feel ashamed to be a massive. When shit is the fan, a lot of the time you need masculine men to come clear it up. History's proven time and time again the weak men are the reasons why kingdoms usually fall. I need to pick up a girl, what do I do? Don't ask me for any pickup lines because pickup lines are stupid as fuck. Whoever uses pickup lines, fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god. If you've been on my channel for a little while, you'll know that I completely agree with what you just said. I think in general, pickup lines are stupid as fuck. If you're really obviously trying to be funny and stupid, she might like it. But don't go over there trying to be all serious and smooth with some lame ass pickup line that you've read on fucking Google. But the pickup line is what makes you funny and stupid, you know? Like abusing pickup lines to the point of satire, I think, is also very fun to do. This is a strange question, but you uh -huh. have to answer it. What do you use in the shower? What do you use in the shower? 
It's funny how they're so prepared to ask these questions, but as soon as they get flipped on, they have no idea. It's like they're being hit by a fucking bus or something. So who's your biggest crush? Me? No, I ain't got no crush and I keep it halal 100%. No. I keep it halal 100%, bro. <laughs> Fair play to that kid for sticking true to his religion, sticking true to Yeah, it's just the religion, yeah. A woman distract you from your main focus, goals, or beliefs. Uh. This is always asking for money. Like, go get a job, you fucking lazy. Ah, uh, fuck. Two If you're asking if it's too revealing, that's because you know it's too revealing. Four out of ten. Respect. <laughs> I mean, she's still hot, but like, he's like, yeah, four out of ten. Fuck it. When she says she doesn't want anything for her birthday, so I get her nothing. Hey, if that's what she asked for, they always do this shit, though, man. They're like, no, don't get me nothing. No, I don't want to celebrate Valentine. So the thing is, I super agree with it. Because like on on the on the on the man mental level, which is like stop playing games with me, girl. Just tell me what the fuck you want, kind of thing. I agree, but it's like I get that women want like you know kind of like be always like romanticized and all that shit. So I get it, but like yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we are very straightforward. Like men are very straightforward. Women like to like you know play games and shit, which is like fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you don't do it, they're fucking pissed off. Would you slap mm -hmm. your girlfriend for five million dollars? Yeah. Maybe. Even for free. Girl, wake your ass up. We finna go shopping. <laughs> 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 when you match with someone on Tinder that you go oh, to, God. now they're the person working the escape rooms today. When you match with someone on Tinder but you ghosted, and now they're the person working the escape rooms today. Oh, God. Why are you proud of that? I think the top comment Idiot. took their head on their head. It says, hey, it's not... Interesting to be on the receiving end. It's embarrassing to go someone, then boast about it. You dodge more than a bullet. <laughs> embarrassing oh. to be on the wow. receiving end. It's embarrassing to go someone and boast about it. You dodge more than a bullet. Yeah, thanks. You dodged a massive bullet. If she's willing to mock you online like that, then there's obviously only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. <laughs> I love that, uh, I love that part, like, this is the funniest thing. Where's this from? It's so good. <laughs> it belongs to the streets, yo. Oh, God, all right, man, that's, that's the video. <laughs> that's the video, all right, we're gonna go to the next one. I'll see you there.